This is Todd Spohr. I have a new book coming out called The World's Rarest Movie Posters. In the book, I look at the one-sheet movie poster, which is the standard poster that most people collect. Um, I compare these posters to the much more rare 30 by 40 and 40 by 60 inch posters. Most of the posters in the book um, are very unique uh, from the standpoint is that they have very different images than the one sheet. I started my collection about 12 years ago and the major focus of my collection is these much more rare and harder to find uh, larger size posters. Uh, these posters were used for drive-in movie theaters for the most part and very few of them have survived. Every poster that's in the book is actually, there's less than 10 known copies to exist. This book covers horror, science fiction, uh, dramas, Hitchcock, there's animation posters, so there's a little something for everybody. One of the interesting things I did in the book is I researched auction catalogs going back to 1989. From these auction results, I researched every time a poster sold, what it sold for, and whether it's increased or decreased in value. Uh, one of the things I was able to see is that these 30 by 40s and 40 by 60 inch posters very seldom come up for auction. One of the perfect examples of this is the movie poster for Some Like It Hot. That poster in the one sheet size generally sells for around $1,000. The 30 by 40 uh, style Z is actually much more rare. It's only, there's only one known to exist and uh, the one time it did come to auction it sold for over $4,000. The style Z 40 by 60 uh, has been auctioned three times and uh, that also sells for over $4,000. The style Y has never been to auction. Uh, there's two known to exist, and it would sell probably for around four to five thousand dollars. Also, so whether you're a seasoned collector, you're new to the hobby, you're an investor, or you're just looking for a cool coffee table book with some of your favorite films, I hope you enjoy seeing some of the rarest movie posters in the world.